name is Deborah Miller Jones. I am a quality management specialist at the College of American Pathologists. Uh, my primary role is I'm a lead uh, technical assessor for the uh, to the ISO 15189 standard, which is specific for medical laboratories. It's when we were looking for a program or software, or something to help us from our manual methods that we were doing. Uh, Qualtrack stood out as far as the support. I must say the support we received, uh, the commitment behind that support. If we had any questions, people were right there to answer them right away and the response time uh, was admirable. All of that was great. And so with that in mind, as we were looking and searching different organizations and vendors, Qualtrics definitely stood out. The customers will benefit because I believe it will be uh, user friendly for them and they will have access to their documents readily um, and things like that. So I think on the customer's perspective, and plus it's also more, uh, I wanna say 21st century. <laughs> so, you know, we had already started moving away from paper, uh, you know, reports and all of that. So I think this is another segue to showing more improvement and even our commitment to quality for our customer's sake. And I think the more they get used to it and involved in the conversations back and forth through the system, I think they will also appreciate that and benefit from it. So with the workflows that we've established through Qualtrics, we notice that we know exactly what needs to be done, at what time, and then we're building now learning the email reminder piece to have those email, email reminders say, hey, look at your task list, it's getting close to that next level, you know, getting close to red and all of that. Uh, so I think that's really going to be beneficial to our program. Anytime we send an email or send a phone call or whatever, we got a response right away. So I think that's number one, and you really need that when you're in the middle of a process of trying to learn something. So I think, uh, in my perspective, the customer service aspect, the support, the commitment behind that, um, willingness to work with us, you know, all of that I think is very critical, and I would definitely mention that to anyone who might be looking into the Qualtrics system. And I think by us doing the workflows and looking at our process maps and seeing all the different arrows going all kinds of ways that helped us to realize this is helping us to, for, uh, actually forcing us to really look deeper and, and to what we're doing and how we can improve. And that's the main thing that we look for, uh, the CEP organization as a whole and specifically in our department because we teach that to our labs all the time, all of our customers. You know, look at continual improvement, ways you can improve. And of course, that also helps with cost savings, which of course our C-suite loves that. Uh, but the cost savings, because we aren't doing a rework, we aren't going back and trying to do something different and changing things around. So with that workflow process and the steps and the tasks that comes with it, that is definitely going to truly improve our processes overall. Because we saw the commitment, not only from the sales team or somebody you know on, on our level trying to vet it or the engineers, but everybody I came in communication with was there. And even when I went to a, um, a trade show not too long ago, Qualtrics folks recognized me, hey Dev, you know, come on over here. And it's just, it's just like you belong, you know, and a sense of belonging with the organization. So I really appreciate that. And that's what makes Qualtrics stand out.